And then he'll have a run when he gets to the start finish line. He'll have a run. He'll have more speed and he'll try to get by him. But he's also getting in his ear right now. Close it up because NASCAR will try to keep the cars tight. All right, here we go. Coming down to the restart line. The junior laying back from Michael. Even. Yes. There it is. The restart line right about now is when they need to nail the throttle. Go, 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 go. Here the restart. Green, green, green. And see all these guys up against that outside retaining wall. You can only pass to the right. Now, Michael may be a sitting duck right now because these guys have laid back. So we'll see what kind of run they get when they get to the middle of the backstretch. There is such a thing as getting too far ahead at these uh, drafting tracks. Yes, and, and Michael may be it. Yeah, it may be it. He may be a sitting duck. We'll see what happens. Jeff Gordon should be a little bit closer to the 22. Tony Stewart did three wide with Mike Wallace back there coming off two. But meanwhile, here comes Ward Burton. And the eight's, got, the eight's got some steam. We'll see what happens. See how Michael blocks. And you know he's going to block. Michael Waltrip, Dale Jr., Ward Burton, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman in the top five. And now just about getting up to full speed in these cars. Tell you what, Michael did a really nice job on the restart. He did. I, I thought he'd had too big of a jump, but obviously he did not. Here Marty. comes Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon for third on Ward Burton. Got it. Ward's got no drafting help. Man, he's just going straight back to town. All that line will go by. And look at the pack behind him charging forward. They're no help. If they get to this front group, it's going to get ugly. Marty. Jeff Gordon right before the green flag said, is there any way I can get rid of this rev limiter chip? They said, turn it to box two. It's unlimited. That should give him more RPMs. Helped him pass Ward Burton. But can't help him pass the eight car. And what that means is they got two ignition boxes, and they have chips they put in. And usually they put a higher chip in one box for just this. Last couple laps of the race. It's more RPMs. And just make note at Talladega, there is the start-finish line. It's not in the center of the trioval like at Daytona. They've got a little more racing to do when they get to that point here on that last lap. Two laps to go. Outside, Ward Burton trying to rally back. Ricky Craven getting up behind him to push in the 32. Down the inside, Rusty Wallace. Whoa! <laughs> Tony Stewart there flirting with that yellow line in the orange car. And the field accordions back together. This is where Gordon's going to have to do it. Jeff Gordon going to have to pull out and hopefully get some help. There. He's all over Junior's back bumper. Ryan Newman is tucked up against Gordon. They're coming to the white flag. Two and two-thirds miles of racing left at Talladega. Do they all make it back around? And who's the first one to the checkered flag? Wow, there's Tony Stewart. Shuffling Rusty Wallace out of the way. Jeff Gordon trying to block. Stewart trying to find some running room. Stewart up the center. So far, nobody with anything for Michael Waltrip. Outside, it's Kevin Harvick in the black and silver car. Gordon's on the outside of the eight car. Gordon trying to jump in front of Harvick and get the push. Gordon to second. Michael Waltrip trying to figure out who to block. Here they come to the final corner and down to the start-finish line. Waltrip's going to have it off. Michael Waltrip will win the EA Sports 500 at Talladega. Oh, and crash after the checkered flag. Bobby Labonte turned into a couple others. Big wreck behind you, big wreck behind you. Be careful, just come on around. Big wreck behind you, big wreck behind you. They are lined up outside of you, buddy, outside. Bobby Labonte, Kenny Wallace, Mark Martin. In a wreck after the checkered flag. Well, he held him off. He sure did. And that restart won him the race. It did. I, I thought he'd gotten too big a jump, but it was just the perfect jump. And Junior did not abandon. Uh, no, he did. He stayed there with him. He stayed with him. You made the call, DP. Matty. And a handshake and a hug by Junior's Uncle Danny Earnhardt. Slugger, congratulations. What a win. Man, thank you. His, uh, teammate helped us out, you know. I tell you, the, uh, the other competition caught up with us, and we built a brand-new car. Took it to Daytona, did a tire test, got the roof hatch in it. 
I'm sure Michael will do something crazy with that. You know how he is. But, uh, man, the last five weeks have been hard on us. And I told these guys to stick with us and, and with Michael. And everything will work out just great. And, man, what a deal. We, we needed it. We needed it bad. What were you thinking when you saw everybody start to shuffle coming out of two? I don't know what to think. I, I figured we'd run out of gas. I, I figured we were done. So uh, it, it's a good team effort. And, you know, when DI's 1-2 on the track with Dale Jr., it's hard to beat us. You know, they tried, tried, tried. So, you know, we've stepped up. Us and the eight, built new cars. They worked real hard on their stuff, and uh, it, it's a good day. <laughs> the guys won nine of the last 12 restrictor plate races. Here comes the hatch. That's the new escape hatch that they put in Michael Waltham's car. <laughs> of course, with the Napa logo underneath it. Yeah. Well, Slugger just said he thought he'd do something until he was well, on the show. That's definitely off. a first. Yeah, well, that's a first. That's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know you want me to go to Victory Lane. High five me first, you know? That's beautiful. Michael Waltrip, second win of 2003. And what a miserable month it's been for Waltrip and this team. Slugger talked about the way things have been going for them lately. Last five finishes before today. 42nd, 37th, 32nd, 26th, 42nd. He was fifth in points after Michigan five races ago. He fell out of the top ten for the first time all season last Sunday at Dover. This is the last half lap. See, Junior still up in that 15 car. He's also trying to run second. He goes up to block the 24 car. And look at this mess behind them. And wait till you see when they come across the start finish line. They're four wide come across the start finish line. Is Michael blocking, blocking the whole field. Everything he could. Look at Kurt Busch with the damaged fender right back up in the middle, the 97 car. And now after the checkered flag, keep your eye on the green car, Bobby Labonte. He gets bumped by Bill Elliott, I believe. But they were stacked. I mean, they were four wide. Big wreck behind you. Big wreck behind you. They are lined up outside. Three rows of four wide. And Bobby and Kenny Wallace got the worst of it. That Chevy commercial where they put the donuts on the side of each other's car? How about we make that our Chevy winning moment? Michael Waltrip, today's winner. Chevy congratulates Mikey and the number 15 Monte Carlo. Chevy will tell you. Mikey will tell you. The only thing that comes close to Monte Carlo's reputation on the track is its reputation on the street. More champions depend on Chevy. We'll be there.